India accounts for 17% of the world's population and 20% of the global disease burden. Yet, fewer than 4% of global clinical trials are conducted here. There is a gap and Roche, a pharma company, is helping India address it. When we talk about diversity and representation somewhere, we are the you know backyard of the pharmacy of the world. Yes. But we rarely have that kind of representation in the world pharmacy when you look at it the other way. Right? Yeah, so it's a very good question. I would um, answer this in two ways. So it's important for India, like any other country, to be well represented or fairly represented in global trials, simply because we contribute 17% of the global population 20%, more importantly, when you come to pharma research, 20% of the global disease burden. So there should be this proportion of Indian patients in trials. Now, what we try to do is to make sure that these centers are able to then do justice to the patients who are coming by then providing them this capability to be able to do global clinical trials. But clinical trials in India have long struggled with mistrust. Moreover, it's a real struggle to get Indians to agree for a clinical trial. When I put on the hat of, a, um, of industry, we want trials to be done well and to the extent possible also uh, without compromising safety and um, standards, also as fast as possible. And it's not um, easy to find the kind of volume of patients that um, good centres in India has in, in other parts of the world. So that's another reason why, um, as a sponsor, as a pharmaceutical company invested in R&D. The US ranks number one with maximum trial registrations, followed by China, India and then comes Japan. However, as per population, the USA tops the list while India comes fourth with only 53 people who participate in trials per million people. The ecosystem for good phase 3 or 4 clinical trials, which are key stages, is missing. Roche says it is working with trusted public hospitals to change that. We need to make sure that the trials that we have is representative of the patients who are going to get and we've realized that we need the data to be able to make sure that the health outcomes are, uh, are impacting and we maximize the health outcomes for all our patients. So. The focus in India has, it's not new, it is just something that we are now able to apply this to the need in the public hospitals where we see that there is a large amount of patients who go there but there is not that many trial opportunities and so we are building the capability in these hospitals to do more clinical trials. At PGIMS Rotak, one such partner site for CT investigations, Dr. Savita Verma and her team are part of Roche's clinical trial program. They are also currently working on clinical trials for India's first dengue vaccine. We are part of uh, the ICMR project on dengue vaccine trial. It is still in the middle phase, like the trial started last year and we have a two years follow up. So only I think after it will take under one, one and a half years to generate that data which is required. So the recruitment has been completed recently. So, but there is a two years follow up. The focus is on five disease areas oncology, ophthalmology, neurology, immunology, and cardiovascular and metabolic disorders. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.